Reed, what do you got in your hands, buddy? <laughs> this is the uh, backer board for your shower. He's got my shower in his hands. Yeah. Uh, check this out, guys. This is uh, what this current situation is. This is fully waterproof um, stuff. Um, I need to still put this light back in there. But, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. There we go. We got a couple little things to do. Uh, I gotta quickly wire this uh, for Reed, and uh, we're gonna get this thing. But good morning, Colorado Custom Coachworks. Today, all of this is gonna be covered up with uh, stuff for the uh, shower. Um, <laughs> now I'm gonna get my hands dirty and uh, put in a couple two by sixes. We just took out two. 2x2s two two to replace with a 2x4. I'll be putting that in that as well. <coughs> and, um, you know, put in some kind of like nail or something over there to uh, kind of frame out the window. So, without further ado, let's get to work. So, Reed's making a little mess over here, and uh, I'm connecting all the hallway lights together with these bad boys. I'm gonna run them all the way down. This is gonna be the on off part, and then it's gonna be a three way, so. Um, I, I believe we have to run all the way down to where the power comes from. I know we're backlit. Sorry, it's a little dark in here, but uh, just connecting wires together, all that fun stuff. We got the uh, LEDs uh, on the deck connected. Those are going to go to the vehicle power. Now, Reed suggested something which I probably should have done with Steampunk Steve and didn't. And probably there's a really good chance that Steve suggested this, but Reed was like, you should put a second light there. So it look better when you shower and stuff. So you have a really pretty bath bathroom, you know. You need yeah. to light it up. So the only thing is, I was a little concerned because this foam is such a pain in the butt. So if we cut a hole there, we got to go through one, two, three, four, five to fish it through. So you feel pretty confident in that, huh? Yeah. All right. Okay, let's got do it. it. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, so uh, Reed, Reed was uh, pulling my tail. He's like, oh crap, you know, he puts one of the wires through it. Uh, it actually went through pretty well because he actually tapped on it, noticed it was a little hollow, that it wasn't uh, as tight as some of that stuff over there, and just kind of slid it down. So for all the people who told me, yeah, you should wire before for the foam, yeah, you're right, but you know what? <laughs> we did it anyways. So right. life is good. We're moving on. All right. Eric, what is going on since uh, I've been inside playing with 12-volt uh, wiring? Well, I'm working now on your uh, table. It'll, you know, go between the benches in the van, and uh, basically I've got it cut to the width. I'm going to be adding a piece around the entire perimeter of it, so I've got to get it cut to length and to width and uh, prep for that. So, awesome. Laying that out now, I'm going to have that uh, cut shortly. Awesome. So uh, I think we mentioned it uh, in the previous video, uh, maybe even earlier today, but we're insetting a chess table, guys. I'm not even a chess player, but I, I did play um, a couple people at uh, uh, RTR and uh, the van build, so um, I, I, I know we're going to make use of this uh, table here. Alright, moving along, we got all the uh, kind of wires zip tied and put together in a nice friendly manner. Uh, Reed's having a board meeting in the shower, and uh, <laughs> it's looking pretty good here. We're, we're underway. I feel more energized and motivated, and I feel more, I don't know, accomplished now, I think, that I ever have because we're getting so close to being finished and this thing is going to get on the road soon. And also, Reed, you got to sign our uh, time capsule up on the back wall while you, uh, before I close it up. progress being made. Rita's a lifesaver, by the way, as well as Eric. These two guys, man, are just great individuals. Uh, now, just want to show you what I'm doing up here for the LEDs in case anybody wants to copy what I'm doing. And I'm just using uh, some of this uh, wire conduit stuff and uh, some of the smaller ones. And just kind of, you know, matching, disappearing. We got this little, little thing like that, little little bracket thing and that's just gonna keep it from uh, bouncing around too much. I already got the front one done. Other side is gonna be fun. That's gonna be speakers and LEDs. Alright, what, what are you doing, Reed? Putting the picture ring on. Cool. 
you want a little bit of room up there. You don't want the edge of the ring going all the way to the edge of the plastic. You want it to be able to flare out just a little bit. So that's because it, it squeezes out the plastic there, right? right. To create a, a, a right. tighter seal. See how they're ribbed? Yep. So the ring goes on basically right where the ribs are. Okay. So you put the plastic all the way to that, and then you put the ring on. You tighten it once, and you turn it a quarter turn, and tighten it again. Excellent. So in the wall, uh, Reed has made this uh, contraption there. <laughs> Uh, basically a two by four slimmed down and then added some plywood just to recreate the thickness of the two by four and then he's going to mount it to that and that was uh, will hold the shower head in in, uh, in place all right wonder boom took off for the day and uh, this is as far as uh, he left off he put the uh, a side trim on here as you can see there's a little lip we're not really sure what to do as far as uh, hardware or uh, a folding uh, capability for this thing, but it is looking absolutely beautiful. Um, so just want to thank Eric. Um, if you haven't uh, seen his channel, if you don't know he has a channel, it's Wanderboom. Um, and uh, gorgeous, gorgeous woodworking here. So uh, if anybody's looking for something on the road, um, you know, Eric is definitely uh, up for it. It, it. Definitely has a skills for it. Cabinets, tables, furniture. Uh, I don't even know what else he does. You should definitely hit him up if uh, you know you want some quality work from a uh, fellow nomad. Um, but yeah, this is looking gorgeous. Can't wait to play some uh, some chess <laughs> right in here or some checkers. Either way. Um, and uh, looking forward to meeting some of you guys that are coming out to Enigmatic Nomadic's van build party, even though he has a school bus now. Um, just a gathering of really friendly, um, you know, people who are just kind of living off the grid and, and in vehicles and RVs and things like that. And so people are going to need a hand installing things and stuff like that. Plus, Jamie, you know, is just such a nice dude. But um, I am just super thrilled with the uh, amount of work, you know, the progress. Looks like it might be on the road within a couple of weeks. And uh, also I want to thank uh, Reed for, uh, uh, you know, helping out. He randomly come, came by here, found me and Mike, and, uh, you know, just fell in love with the, uh, you know, the bus life, basically. So, um, yeah, we got all the backer board in. We got some of the pec signs in for the shower. The shower's mounted. Tiling, I guess, will we'll start tomorrow. And, uh, wow, so much progress in, in just such a short amount of time. It, it exponentially faster than, obviously, what me and Mike did uh, to prep, um, you know, with all the welding and the framework and all that fun stuff. So um, I think that is going to end it for this video. We'll pick up again uh, in the next video uh, with some of the tile. Um, and I, I kind of clean these things up and finally attach the 12 volt wiring for the LEDs um, so yeah pretty happy about that and uh, need to drill in the um, screw in the deck uh, probably in the next video as well